666 service center from section 32. We are present our economic project which is grocery delivery service. So our group is named as 666 service center and this, the right side is our organization chart. For general manager is Liu Chenyi, operation manager is Samuel, accountant is Jason Tan, the human Human Resource Manager is Chong Tan Kit and our Marketing Manager is Tim King Han. Our objectives are to provide a convenient way for customers to purchase daily supplies. Second, we are aim to provide various kinds of grocery products to customers. Thirdly, we are to solve the inconvenience of customers in terms of processing limited quantity and brand of products and nearby grocery shop. And lastly, we are aim to reduce the burden of customer in terms of purchasing expensive products and nearby grocery shop. Our vision is to be the best choice of delivery service and high delight worldwide customer. And our vision is that there are no best way to serve right or the best way to serve customer right to our best. Next, I will pass to my group map for the further presentation. For this study, the problem statement that we initiate this research are the citizens who are unable to head in to the nearby supermarket to buy the grocery due to the tiredness and also the work stress. And the second problem is uh, insufficient time to purchase grocery due to a long time work. And third problem is you no know, traveling vehicles to the nearby grocery. And uh, for example, the university students and the old citizens. Uh, another statement is uh, a, a polish abolishment of the bus service in Taman Youth area uh, at Udiashan. And the third problem is uh, selling price of uh, semi uh, semi grocery shops are sl slightly higher. With the problem above, we will propose some solutions. First, the worldwide online grocery delivery service we will provide to the citizens and also the university students in Malaysia. We have solved the time of insufficiency and transporting problems. Uh, the list of the grocery product will be uh, list in our website due to the respective mall. We will cooperation between the supermarkets of the management get the promotions and we will come uh, the our our website service will compare the price among among the supermarkets and the term and conditions will be having a service charge of 15% of the total purchasing cost. If uh, the cost is less than 30 ringgits, uh, 5 ringgit charge will be uh, charged for our service fees. With the identify of material requirements and developments, uh, we have used a website builder, uh, social media accounts and bank account. Uh, we have used um, uh, Wix.com as our website services. So uh, we will insert the target, uh, target market supermarket information, such as from this, this, this supermarket. Uh, inside the website, we will provide the service information so that uh, customers may contact us and may know our operating hours. Social media, we will be using the social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to promote, promote our website. And we will provide the online payment platform such as uh, FTX and also credit card payment service. Okay, for the development, we have do some su uh, survey on the Malaysia supermarkets. Then we will survey on the our selling products. Next, we will go to categorize the selling products, and we will update the product info in our website. Then, uh, lastly, is preparation uh, preparing of the payment web methods online. Thank you. Now I will present a part of development of the service software. So in order to conduct our business, an online shopping website of CC6 Service Center was built by using the Wix.com. So uh, this website could be created by using two methods. One is uh, let the Wix ADI create a website for you, or the other method is create your website with a Wix editor. So we choose to uh, create our website by our own. After created the website, so a public link is provided for the customer to access and a list of groceries are available in the website. So the figure 
here shows the website that we created with a list of the grocery products and there is a website that are free to access. For the service capacity, we have 26 deliver, delivery drivers over all the state in, in Malaysia and as mentioned before, there are two conditions of charging fee. The first will be the RM5 ring, uh, five ringgit will be charges for the total for the purchasing cost is less than 30 ringgit and the second will be 50% of the total purchasing cost will be charges if the purchasing cost is more than 30 ringgit and the grocery delivery schedule is shown as below for our business the working days will be on Tuesday to Sunday and we are closed for the public holiday and every Monday for the service owner cost there's a total cost of 67 and 10 cent is paid to obtain a one year of free domain for the website that we created and a money salary of 500 ringgit and a capable fuel allowance of 20 cent per kilometer is provided for every driver and for the service operation first the customer will receive the website prepared by the 66 service center and then they will select the desire supermarket or hypermarket to shopping and we'll select the products and after select the product it will go through the payment method and then they will receive the transactions of the payment for further reference and finally they will receive their products for the service maintenance our company will provide daily update of website in order to provide the latest information of the product to the every customers. Thank you. So now I have present about the product cost and the profit analysis. So for the total service cost per month, the total cost will be calculated is by using the formula FC plus we see by only by Q where the FC is fixed cost, VC is variable cost per unit and the Q is the minimum number of purchase order per month. So for the week's platform is about USD 60.5 uh, US dollar where around RN 70 ringgit and my salary of the delivery crew member are uh, 500 per person total 26 drivers uh, in our company so for example Corridor SR 1.0 at once is 40 kilo per liter week while the fuel price of the RON 95 is cost about per liter. So for the fuel consumption can be estimated as RM.0.157 per kilometer. So this table is show that the fixed cost and the variable cost where the fixed cost is 70 ringgit for a week's platform and 500 for the salary of the emergency crew member. While the variable cost is a modest timing where it is estimated uh, 0.20 cents per kilometer. So the total cost to calculate the overall consultant is by using this formula to, to find the amount of the total cost. So for the sales price and service price, uh, this table shows that the amount of purchase order were more than 30 ringgit and smaller than 30 ringgit. So this is a uh, SSD, this is a test for the service fee and a 5 ringgit for penalty. 5 ringgit penalty is used only for the less than 30 ringgit for the mid purchase order. So for the more than 30 gates, we will uh, charge the uh, SSD as a service fee for our the penalty is no. So for the break even analysis, uh, our total fixed cost is around uh, 13070 uh, and variable cost is 20 cents per kilometer while the total cost of formula is around this. So the total return we, we calculated is uh, 6.80 cents per day and to find the value of the profit is is using ER minus TC where uh, to find the break even point using the formula 0 equals to TR minus TC and we found the break even point is at uh, 114.6 or equals to 115 which is the break even point and this graph is show that the break even point is 115 and to find out this is the break even point for our company service for the profit margin Target minimum number of the total purchasing order is equal to 130 units and find out the profit margin is around 6.6% 6 
where earn a profitable amount of 1750 ringgit. So now for tight allocation of the project, uh, this graph shows that the work, work breakdown structure for grocery delivery service is according to project manager, business development, paper resources, sales and marketing and accounting. So I'm the accountant of this project. I would like to explain the financial plan of our project in business fund. With the application of POF, we are taking the total operational cost rounding up as uh, to, uh, 25,000 and then our startup cost requirement is uh, able to able to our uh, fund that require for our company able to run for six months. So the so the total startup cost is uh, one hundred five hundred thousand. By taking the loan from SME Bank Accelerator Program with the interest rate of four percent, we are planning to return the uh, the amount of loan in ten years. So by by the application of POF, uh, we have calculated that the amount that we are paying in the future in 10 years is the amount of 222036.64 ringgit. So in the monthly installment that we, we are going to pay for the loan is by applying the application of AOF. So converting 10 years into months that is a cumulative of 120 months and then by applying the formula AOF then we obtain that one month that our company is going to pay uh, in an amount of 1541.12 cent. So, in the po po profitability of the business proposal by applying the application of PW present worth, there's a statement that we need to be described that uh, the PW below by below than zero that is non profitable, equal to zero that is break even, and then more than zero that the PW that of the business is uh, profitable. So with the minimum attractive uh, return rate MARR, the the rate is 10% and then our life expectancy of our company is 10 years. So in the financial planning, uh, we are taking the initial cost P0 equals to 70, which is our uh, initial cost for paying the website. And then our annual cost is calculated with this one and then the amount is 315733.44 ringgit and then our annual sales is anticipated with the uh, 318240 ringgit and then our residual cost which uh, we are going to sell the company uh, the website uh, after 10 years and it will cost like uh, roughly 25,000 and then the life expectancy as I mentioned for the company is 10 years so by using the formula PW and then we obtain that our our present worth is 24,969 ringgit and 31 cents which means our PW is, over, uh, is more than zero and the business proposal is profitable Thank you. Now I conclude for our project. So for the problem first during our doing our project is that we do not have include much the evaluation of uncertainties in the future because we cannot surely determine the uncertainties in the future that might greatly affect income of a particular month and the working of our company. Second. We do not take in much account on promotion of our service to make our service well known in the society and understand by the public. Third, the products offered for the deliver delivery service still are not enough to meet the needs of society, which have great possibility to yield more profits. There are a few recommendations to solve our problem. First, uh, our crew, our group members should improve our knowledge on, ma on managing the web page. So the web page will be maintained and be stable from time to time. This will increase the residual value of the web page after 10 years. Next, the feedbacks are collected to improve the weakness of the service in the aspect of ordering and delivery. Next, the, we should collaborate with more market, and, market partners in order to meet the different needs of customers. And last but not least, uh, we should try to generate more revenues other than grocery delivery service so that the annual profit is increased and residual value might increase as well. Thank you.